Hello guys, today I'll be talking about the medium transmission line on a nominal T method. Um, please like, subscribe um, and share the video. So let's go straight to it. Um, a nominal T method is having two impedances lumped on the receiving end. Um, half of the impedance is also lumped on the receiving end um, with the capacitor sitting on the MIGO. So let's go ahead and write the equivalence of this. So it's the resistor in that tense, resistor in that tense, receiving end. Capacitor right in the middle. So, shine capacitor is presented uh, as uh, an admittance. So it's going to be our Y there. So here is going to be our VS. It's going to be the our impedance is going to let's just say Y over two, Z over two. Let me say here is set over two. Here we have our VR. Okay, so our receiving end, um, our receiving end uh, voltage here. So basically, we want to calculate this using an um, an ABCD method. Parameters ABCD. parameters so you want to find those parameters how do you go about finding this we want to find the s as equal to uh, a v r plus b i r and i s as c v r plus d i r okay so now how do we go about doing this by looking at our circuit our equivalent circuit here um incoming current will be i s okay and then we have here uh this will be let me just name this as c1 f1 capacitor okay the current comes in here and it splits uh, into two. One uh, goes through this capacitor. Let's name that IC1. And one goes through um, this uh, line impedance. Uh, we can name this one as IR, I receiving end. Because I receiving end is the same current that's going on this one. So across this capacitor, across this capacitor, we have a voltage resulted to this voltage drop. So it's going to be V. Let's name it uh, V1 um, from here to here across this capacitor. So what does this mean, though? V1. V1 now the voltage across this capacitor becomes a supply for the downstream of the transmission line. So this will be now this means V1 is equal to um, this voltage drop plus VR. Let's start here. Let's say VR. So VR plus IR times z over 2 okay so that will be our v1 this voltage here what will be our vs our vs will be this voltage drop caused by this impedance plus v1 plus v1 so we know the formula for v1 let's call it equation one 
um now vs will be equal to v1 plus this drop here this voltage drop uh, which is is times z over 2 okay so if we substitute uh, let's make this equation 2 sub uh, v1 on equation 1 to equation to equation 2 okay so we have vs equals to substitute that equation there so it's going to be vr plus ir z over 2 plus this term here which is is z over 2 okay so here we don't want to see is because we want to write this in the forms of ir and vr so what is our is so we need to first know what is our is so our is is the current coming in here um, that splits in and the other one goes through uh, c1 and the other one goes um, to the line so ir so it's going to be i it's going to be is equals to i c1 plus i r okay so we need to know what is um this current ic1 uh sitting here so ic1 will be v1 times admittance okay so let's write that ic1 is equal to v1 times admittance okay we have um v1 right so let's substitute v1 on this formula so this will be equal to so uh, what is our v1 this is our v1 equation one so it's going to be uh each term multiplied by admittance so now it's going to be v r y plus i r z over 2 times y so that is a current going through the capacitor so what do we do, what do we need to do with this current we have we want to substitute this current here we want to substitute this current here so we get our is is equal to vry plus ir z y over 2 plus i r so we want to write this equation this equation of i s in terms of uh, c v c t times v r plus d times i r so we need to have uh, this expression here so let's try to get that expression um so now we have v as y times v r plus and then we have these two so we can take out the common vector which is r so one plus z y over two um times r so it will give us back these two terms now we can say that we have find the coefficient c and d so our c is equal to y okay and d is equal to 1 plus z over z y over 2 z y over 2 this one here that's our d okay so we we have found that 
star C and D. Okay. Uh, I don't know whether you guys can see this one properly. Um, this is ZY over 2. Okay. Now we want to find the uh, A and B on the VS descending end voltage expression. So how do we go about finding the voltage? Okay, we already have this um, VS with our equation 2 as our uh, voltage VS and then we further went to the stage where we said um, Vs is equal to Vr plus Irz over 2 plus Isz over 2. So what we don't want is this Is. So we need to cut, we need to substitute this Is and with um, this expression here with this one, with this equation here. So each and every term here should be multiplied by Z over 2. So let's do this here. Um, so Vs is equal to um, Vr plus Ir Z over 2 plus. Now we multiply this equation. Uh, we'll multiply this is equation this one actually this i sorry it's not showing on the video let me just show it to you guys um this is equation uh to uh, z over two okay so let's do it <coughs> we're gonna be having um vr y z over 2 first term and the second and the second term will be plus i r z squared y divided by 4 this is the term that I'm talking about. So z times z to be z squared and 2 times 2 will be 4. Okay. So now we're left with ir. So uh, plus uh, z ir over 2. Okay. So that's our VS um, equation. So now we want to write it in this uh, f uh, uh, form where it says A VR plus B IR. So now we look at this equation and see if there is like terms or perhaps uh, common terms. So we look at this, uh, there is no like terms, but there is terms that are having a common factor uh, like this one and this one so we take out uh, vr so we'll be left with one plus y z over two vr plus and we have uh, these two actually actually we do have um same terms yeah so let's 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 look at this carefully so this term is i r z over 2 is the same as z i r over 2 so this one will be let's write that it's going to be vr the first term is is vr plus this plus this one it will be um z i R. okay plus so what are we left with we're left with the v r z y divided by 2 plus i r squared sorry i r 
z this one squared y over 2 okay 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 let's uh, verify our multiplication here again okay so here we are multiplying this one z over 2 with this expression here so our first um our first terms is this vr plus ir z over the which is these ones is correct um now we have to multiply the remaining ones so this vry times this z over 2 vry times z over 2 so it's vry z um over 2 this term here is correct and then we come to the second term so this term here is going to be z over 2 times this term so it's going to be ir z squared y that will be divided by 4 not by 2 okay always double check your calculations so that will be divided by 4 okay so i uh, can see that now we are back on track so this one will be divided by 4 right so now let's write this in form in, in, in this abcd form um our vr we can take vr out one that to be one plus this equation here so this term there is y over z over z times y over two okay this will multiply by vr okay that would be plus so we have z ir plus um the remaining one that would be plus i r i r z squared y over four so we can take this out okay this z times i r so now we're going to be having z outside of the bracket open the bracket and place one plus what are we remaining with we're remaining with the z y over four into i r okay so that's what we're remaining on so this now will be my coefficient c this will be my coefficient d so let's take it out so this is our c will be one plus z y over two okay what would be our d our d is going to be y equal to z into one plus z y over four okay so that will be that expression okay now we managed to find c we managed to find d and we did find okay we already find c and d so now i must be careful also with uh, my naming this is vs this is not i s this is vs i normally start to with is that's why um getting a bit uh, confused um so this is vs so vs the first coefficient of vr will be a and the second coefficient of uh, ir um will be b so this is a and b this is a and b so we already find already found um c c is admittance is equal to the admittance d will be equal to one plus z y over two okay thank you guys this is how you calculate the apct parameters on the nominal t method please share the video to others so that they also know thank you